All right. Q Orbiter. Yeah, okay, I'm not going to do that accent anymore. I'm sorry, guys. Um, anyways, Q Orbiter. This is a demonstration on an Android, uh, much faster than my older one from Metro PCS. Uh, L3MCE was nice enough to send this down the pipe so that I could have a, an Android phone worth developing on to develop on. Um, anyways, as you can see, we've got uh, basic stuff here on the screen. Um, I was in the middle of watching, well, not middle, 15 minutes into uh, Aliens. And so, as you can see, if I click on the now playing, it'll show me all the now playing stuff. Loading it over the network pretty pretty fast, actually. Um, you know, we've got all of our handy dandy information here. Um, there's lots of oversights in the UI right now, and I'm 100% aware of those. But it's just more a matter of building out a prototype UI with all the bits that I need, so I can make sure that everything is working when I start actually building the full-on skin and um, basically letting other UI designers do the same. Um, things that are provided like a playlist all the stuff will be pr provided um, so you really don't have to do any code outside of the QML anyway going back to this and going back to that and we're going to select we're going to demonstrate some of the better grid performance that we have now um, as you can see oops I did not mean to click that but as you can see our grid scrolls actually not too bad now um, and for the moment I have jumping around just by pages but at some point we're going to be implementing um, jumping around by you know letters and all that good stuff depending on really uh, what exactly it is you're doing the attributes by because that's one thing um, de really depending on how many attributes you have for any given thing you know it could be a few or it could be a lot here's a band that is particularly awesome and as you can see we've got all my different bands or excuse me all the different albums laid out here now see the thing is Android doesn't really like the way I click apparently ah, there we go I love this song but anyway so that's one of the things that seriously so I thought if anything we need to work on the click handlers and s such like that because the touch interface can be kind of funky. Um, anyways, now you can see it's obviously changed to that. Um, so, and I don't know if you can tell, but the sound is actually fading out now. But you know, basically, there's lots of progress. There's actually other things that we have done that I've implemented in the desktop skin that are not limited to the. Uh, taking screenshots um, most of the extended uh, live TV features like accessing the guide and other stuff like that um, DVD playback it's just a matter of porting the stuff over to the uh, particular skin in question which is in this case the Android skin so you know it's just it'll eventually work and everyone will be happy and it'll be great but in the meantime oh hey look I turned off all the lights I say off. Yeah. Click handlers, kids. That's where it's at. Anyways, that is roughly the rather archaic video <laughs> showing Android. If I wasn't holding this thing for film, then I would actually probably be able to show you a little bit better. Oh, uh, one thing Fenigma mentioned was... No, that's not it. Where are you? Ever try clicking while looking through a camera? It's fun, I swear. There we go. Uh, I don't know, let's change rooms to dining room. As you can see, you know, it now properly changes to now playing, and you can see the lighting that I have is only the two the lights that are in there. And if I go back to that particular room that I was just in with the awesome that is say Ferris if I can click there we go hey look it's back so like I said don't let the UI don't hold the UI against it at the moment because there's actually a lot going on code wise and that's about it all right
So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Good day. I need to do it.